Camera speed. Sound production, take one. Action! Welcome to the Enter the Fan Girls podcast. I'm Sam. I'm Lexi, and we're two girls with a slight obsession of everything pop culture. Today we're talking Ticket Paradise, the George Clooney and Julia Roberts romp. It's about time we actually talked about a romp. <laughs> right? We talk a lot about romp but don't actually talk about rom-coms. Remember when we were in the romp bracket? Yeah. And no one helped <laughs> us out. We gave that up on that. Yeah, literally no one helped us out. Once again, we need to calm them wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did give the two different I think I just gave it an overall rating compared to rom-coms now. <laughs> yeah, I also, my mom kept talking while watching yeah, it because we watched it at home. Yeah. So I don't entirely know. Yeah. There really wasn't much to know because the only good parts no. were George and Julia in my opinion. That's true. I'm going to pull up the Wikipedia just for yeah. scientific um, purposes. I mean, I think the whole movie was supposed to be... The whole movie was centered around George and Julia's characters. Yeah. But, like, I felt like I was supposed to care about their child and I just didn't. I really didn't. Billy's character. Oh, I thought there was gonna be more. At one point, me and my mom were like, "Is she gonna hit on George Clooney?" Yes. <laughs> okay, you thought so too. <laughs> my mom was like, "Are they gonna have sex?" It's at the bar scene. Like, I'm like, really? Like, I get, it, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I was like, that's like wrong. So much. I've never got the high ground Clooney. He looked pretty good. <laughs> it was the scrub. The scrub. My mom hates the scrub. My mom hates just beer in general. So does mine. It's with moms. I don't know, but the, the scrub it. does win, man. Yeah. Um, before I fully talk, we should tell people what it's about. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Ticket to Paradise. This is the Wikipedia. Ticket to Paradise is a 2020 film starring George Clooney and Julia Roberts as a divorced couple who team up to sabotage the impending wedding of their daughter. That's the only point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, David and Julia are because every good mom that was a divorced couple back up. Yeah. It did, what did you say? You say it in Julia. What's, I don't even know her character's name. Mm, yep, I meant George and Julia. Okay. Yeah, George. sorry, I was reading the plan. His name is David in this, and his name is Georgia, Georgia. in this. Right, okay. Yeah. Um, um, first, I, don't, I didn't really care for their playing okay. her actor actress-wise. I didn't even care so much about that. I just didn't care about. Yeah, neither did I. I also didn't like her husband, boyfriend. No. Like I get it for movie purposes. You have to the plot. Like they have like forty days. They're gonna get married. I didn't like that. <laughs> Because I'm like, you also don't get to spend any time with either of them, so neither of them are very applicable to be for them. I thought it was weird that she was only there for a month, and then you think it would be the end of a three-month trip to Bali? Yeah. Like, that would have made a little bit more sense. Yeah. I didn't like any daughter. Like, I kind of really just wanted a Julia. Well, let's, I think the only reason that anyone went to go see this was what short. yeah and, and like was we, you don't even get an, a lot of them like you do but you don't yeah it's a lot of them separate i feel yeah. and also georgia julia's character dating like a younger man i didn't like neither did 
I there's just a lot of hard choices. Yeah. However, Bali looks beautiful. Gorgeous. I'm sure that was not Bali. I don't think it was. I think I read a review that said it was Australia. Really? It was beautiful too. Is that really Because I was thinking Hawaii. Well, yeah, it was actually filmed mostly in Australia. Wow. Australia is beautiful too. Australia is beautiful. I love that. Yeah. So I guess we're going to Australia slash Bali. Yes, we will be. Um, I, my review was, I didn't love this as I wanted to, but I'm so glad the rom-com genre is making a comeback, and I'm going to need every classic rom-com actor to immediately make a movie for my own movie, which is basically just how to sum up this movie, because it wasn't bad, and I would watch again, I probably should watch again, um, and actually, you know, be able to listen and watch it this time, <laughs> but there's a lot of places I didn't love. I also appreciated that it was more calm than wrong. It was. Yeah. That's a bummer to pick. Can I spoil it now? Yeah, no, I don't like what you're saying. They didn't even get, like, a kiss, really. They had one kiss. Yeah. And there wasn't any, like, there wasn't any good romance rekindling. Like, I'm, like, hated the ending. I'm so sorry. I was like, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Me too. I was like, oh, that's cute that they're going to stay together. That's it. I think they're going to kiss. Right. Their first kiss was great. Don't get me wrong. Their first? I thought it was their only. <laughs> it is. I just. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted. I. We don't. It, that's why it just kind of doesn't feel like a wrong. Topic. Okay. I love George and Julia, but like I wasn't getting the chemistry I needed because there wasn't any moment where chemistry could be had. Yeah, their characters were very much just boring. Yeah, which worked. Which it worked, and it was very funny. Yeah, it was very funny. But like, like I didn't. We needed real lovers. Yeah. True. It was just really enemy. And then, like, he was stared at her in the eyes one day and was like, I still love you. So, yeah. yeah. But, like, it's not even really, like, spelled out for us. It's kind of like, oh, do they still love each other? I don't know. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I didn't care about the daughter. Just give me them. At one point, I thought to pull a Mamma Mia when the daughter and the, the G'day are getting married. And then he's like, stop. And then she says, stop. And I'm like, oh, my God, they're going to pull an I do, I do, I do. They didn't, but I think it would have been better. Do we want to go through this bit by bit? No, because I don't really remember bit by bit. Me either, really, but I don't know if we're supposed to do reviews. Yeah, we can just talk about parts of it. Um, yeah, it does start with them... Planning to do their daughter's graduation? Yes. I was also confused on the timeline of this marriage. Because the daughter's graduating from law school. They said they were only married for 25 years. So I don't know, man. That's kind of right. I don't know. It may be like some kind of thing where I was like watching it and I'm like, I don't get this time. So if she went to law school right as she graduated college at the age of 21, 22, yeah, no, she'd be 25. Okay. Take a three month break. Maybe I'm like a little bit of a stretch. Or maybe I just heard something wrong and I heard something about them being married for five years. And that's what, I think that's what confused me. I heard something about them being married for five years. And the uh, George and Julia, and then I'm like, so did you have the kid? And then just so they they were dating after high school, no college, 
something he proposed, like, right, like, during graduation. Okay. And they were married for five years, had her in the meantime, but then, like, when she was around that age, they got divorced. Okay, that makes sense. I was also, he gave this beautiful story of, like, he built her the dream house and it burned down. And I was like, oh, so we're going to add a sense of mystery to this? And we got nothing. No. Like, waiting for, like, Georgia burned it down. <laughs> there are just so many weird decisions. Yeah. Like, fully get the point of the house thing. It was giving very much Meredith and Derek and Grey's Anatomy, but, like... Like, I thought it was, like, supposed to be, like, a symbol. And, like, first of all, second of all. Love that he still kept the property. And I thought he was secretly building them a house again. Yeah. And I was like, wow, that's great. No, he just still the land. And, like, it's not even like they're going to move back to the States. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> I never I would watch a movie where I'd be like, wow, Julia Roberts kind of sucks. Not her personally, but her character. I was watching this yeah. and like, wow, I don't really like you. You don't you think she was good in Runaway Bride? <laughs> no, I have such an affection for Runaway Bride. So I, can't, I can't really hate that. Okay. I don't know. That one I like, redeemed her a little. I don't feel like it's redeems her. She just kind of s- bitter. No, she is. It's fine. Any same. But I think I think maybe I was just impressed with. I didn't realize George Clooney was funny. Really? Yeah. I don't watch a lot of his movies though, so I guess that would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. He has good space, comedic space. timing. He does. He has very good comedic. That's why you need to watch. Oh, Intolerable Cruelty with Catherine Zeta Jones. Oh, he has, right. He has good comedic timing that. It's okay. not, like, very much comedy. No. Enough. Sarcastic in it. <laughs> I did love the beer pong scene with him. I thought that was so funny. And then, like, it, I wanted more of that. Aww. That, like, montage scene with all playing beer pong. I'm like, give me this. This is the this is the movie I want. I don't there is ever... I'm tearing this because I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did enjoy my... Yeah. Um, but I feel like there also isn't ever a time where you really see them come to like G'day. So, yeah, no. <laughs> like, there's no bonding thing. If that was another point that maybe... I think they just, like, accepted that their daughter's getting married and then there's nothing they can do about it. But that yeah. didn't mean that they didn't like G'day. Yeah. Sucks. I wanted a bit more of that. <laughs> no, I didn't either, but like, I don't know. If you're going to put a home with these parents trying to stop their kids' thing, be the redemption arc of them being like, I oh, know, you make our daughter happy. Yeah. You're a good guy kind of thing. And we just didn't get that. Also, um, she should have ended up with Ren. Billy's character. Oh, yeah. I think they had better chemistry. They did. I also, just me personally, I don't think that I would marry a guy from a country I've never been to 30 days after meeting him, but that's just me. But, like, it, if it was Greece, then it was Pierce Bronson. Mm, okay, never mind. My <laughs> point is invalid. I would. I would. Cutting I, my nose so I don't fake ass <laughs> I mean I'd think about it yeah but I you know what's wrong me like it's 37 days later she's like ah oh, yeah I'm getting married I'm like yeah no that time we know each other's middle name it just because we're as <laughs> bodies 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 said, that's not something that comes early on in a relationship nobody knows each other's middle names these no. days no. Um, but it doesn't have to be with us being Scorpios and trust issues. Then we just rape on gain trust. If that. Yeah. So. 
I'm gonna maybe like if I a foot in Bali, I might just just cancel my plane ticket and stay there. Oh, that's me. Um, like Greece one day. Like I'm staying here. Like at the end when she's like, oh, I'm here. That's gonna be me. Like maybe go to like either Nashville or Greece. Be like, I'm calling. Nice. Yeah. But get down to the seaweed farmer, which is so first. <laughs> what a seaweed yeah. farmer does. Like, like, I knew it existed. But also, like, why does it exist? I'm Googling what a seaweed farmer and their. <laughs> like, is that the seaweed I'm eating when I go get. Steak? I think so, because he said it goes to America. Seaweed. Or seaweed. Barn. I don't know. It looked kind of fun though. I'm not gonna lie. Like Loki, I kind of want to try it. See when our Ace Hall was it very tall or was it just like, floating? Floating. Interesting. But then again, I don't really entirely know. But I did like when Julia and George came to like do it too. What did you find? Coming seaweed farmer. Oh my God, tell me why. Okay, it's twenty thousand just to start the business, but the net worth is up to ninety to one hundred twenty thousand. We're moving to Bali and becoming seaweed farmers, guys. Last episode of Enter the Fangirls you've ever seen. Dang, I thought that was. Our so seaweed is also an ingredient in cosmetics, animal feed, and fertilizer. Dang. Interesting. Okay, I get it. Okay, I will say when they were in a competition about who yeah. do a seaweed farming the best. Yeah. I forgot she gave up her law career to stay in Boston. Only bosses need lawyers. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, she doesn't have a job. Because her no, husband's no gonna kidding. make a hundred and twenty thousand. No, imagine 000. your kid going on to be a lawyer and then just be like, "Ha, like I'm actually gonna be a housewife. Thanks for paying my school bill." Wait, that was like the first thing I thought of. I was like, "You just wasted half your college. Law <laughs> school not-, not be cheap. No, it is definitely not. And I L words and get a scholarship." I don't even know what school she went to. Did she say? Who? I should really figure out what the daughter's name is called. Oh, Willie? Thank you. Yeah. I thought you were talking about L, and I'm like, she went no. to Harvard. Um. Oh, yeah, but then Lily emails David and Georgia to tell them that they're getting married, yada, yada, stupid, stupid. Um. <laughs> then they go on the plane. And I really liked this scene. Yeah. Like, this is what I wanted the movie to be. And it was just, um, basically just Dave and Georgia. I'm going to just call them George and Julia, honestly. George and Julia fighting the entire time. And it was great. And then, like, there's, like, a lady in the seat, and she, like, is to George. She's, like, telling him her life story. She's just, like, no bueno or something like that. Like, yeah. some kind of, like, different language. And then... Oh. Yeah, something. Blazing. It was like Italian or yeah. something. And then Julia walks up, and then like he blows his car. I'm just like, oh my god, this is so awkward and so messy, and I kind of love it. But then they're bickering. I would love to be sat in the middle of that. Though. Right. Right. I want to get drunk with Julia and George. Like I feel like it would be a grand old time. Dang. Um, oh, but Julia's boyfriend is. The pilot? Like, really they don't like him. Or me either. One's very likable in this movie, which I feel like is what makes it kind of hard. True. Because, like, in movies, like, um, the best rom com made the proposal and just go with it. Just the side characters are kind of annoying, but they're likable. Yes. Ow. I I liked Gaday's family. I thought like I, did, I thought they were fun. Yes, father was funny. 
his the father was, was really, really funny. His sister was just giving wrong translation. I know. I was like, oh, she gets it. <laughs> um. They just try to sabotage the wedding. There really isn't much. I mean, they could have been a little bit smarter. They were very bad at sabotaging this wedding. As soon as, as soon as my mom was watching and she like saw that Lily, found her, she's like, "Why wouldn't you throw those in the garbage? Right? Like throw you them take in the them ocean. to hide them. Throw them. Out. I know for purposes. Yeah. But come on. Yeah." I was like, yeah, maybe it's like their older age. We're yeah. not thinking. Also, good day. Like, just immediately know it was George and Julia. But I it doesn't didn't say anything. like that. Yeah. I was like, then there's like, this weird, like, tension between them. I'm just. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, like, how do you go up to your, like, fiance and be like, hey, I just met your parents and they suck. They're sabotaging our wedding. But, like, also, they work. I wish he didn't. Me too. I just think... I'm also still a little shook about her being that. I feel like I missed that. So she... No, wait, no. She, like, chops it all up. Yeah, without breaking the peel. Yeah. How does one do that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm never going to find out because I have a banana boat. Yeah. I feel like I vaguely remember this because I had bananas on my waffles and you made me keep them away from me. Yes. I was eating your bananas. Yes, you were. Yes. <laughs> um, so I'll never <laughs> find out. I have, to, I have to find out for you. I have Thank a bit of you. Um, but I was really cute. Them playing. Oh, thanks. I'm sorry. George Football. playing with. Oh, <laughs> does that not just make your ovaries want to implode? Because mine did. For someone that doesn't like enjoy children, it did. <laughs> even like Joy playing with the kids, even though Charlie still rings. Um, yeah. I don't really know who, like, gives the kids things, but that's... Whatever. Again, plot purposes. Uh, but then they all go... Oh, Julia Draper shows up again. Oh, yeah, plot purposes. I think it was a cultural thing. Okay. Gosh, we're gonna get in trouble with this. I hate this. Um, actually, it was a part of their culture. My bad. I, I did. I, kinda, I, I did kind of want more of the culture because, like, I feel like it's just kind of like all thrown in at like the last minute. I'm like, I just want more. Yeah, it was. If you're gonna set a movie in Bali. Give me the Bali culture. Yeah, it was very much in the beginning. There was culture with like yeah party, and then what? It was like four days of like festivities and I feel like I don't so- even know what they were doing in those days. Yeah. yeah. Um sorry. Oh, there was just a lot going on the day of the wedding. I was like Oh god. Mm-hmm. I really don't get this timeline. <laughs> no. It felt like very I, I felt like they gave us a lot of George and Julia, but when it came to the actual wedding stuff it because yeah. you no know one would care. <laughs> no. What? So it doesn't actually say this, do they? In this. How? Um, yeah. So before Julia's boyfriend shows up, that's when they play the the cop on. Yeah. And then um they get in the same bed. How do they do? Which I loved. Environment choice. I was hoping they had hooked up, but like. They might have. They just might not remember it. He was pantsless. Although she did say he had skinny dipping. I'm like, girl, did you go skinny dipping? Right? I would. And even though he went skinny 
he was not mean, but you guys didn't have sex. Exactly. They were very drunk. Yes. Um, but yeah, they end up in the same bed, and then Julia gives George her yoga pants to wear, which, which she's strangely good in. Yeah. I was very curious. Like, at this point, her boyfriend, what's his name? Paul. Paul. I should remember that, because the way that she said Paul, there's something about it. I mean, I didn't know if I liked it or hated it. <laughs> um, Paul comes knocking on her door. Yes. And you think the smart decision after you're found in your bed with your ex-husband, with, like, kind of connecting rooms. They're not connecting, but, like, you could... T- she walked around to George's room. Exactly. I think that you would make him... What? I'm like, if you can walk all the way around, why can't he? Yeah. Why wouldn't that make more sense? And because they had to move all their clothes anyhow, or she could have just threw his clothes into his little backyard. My other thing, if she was gonna make Paul go get, sorry, coffee anyway. To distract him from George being there? Why didn't George just stay in the bathroom or something? Right? Like, I get it. Even on their old age and, like, yeah. they don't know how to have an affair. That's fair. You know, yeah. But they're we, not even actually having an affair. <laughs> well. Not cheating. Okay, emotionally. Um, but yeah, they all go to the Temple of Tanawat, which is so pretty. It was very pretty. It was very pretty. Even though um, it's cursed. Yes, it was cursed. And Lily and Gide don't go with them. Because Gide knows that it's cursed. Lily doesn't. But you think It after- just makes me like Gide. Oh, Doesn't for not tell- telling her, but you try to tell them though, doesn't he? I think he tells David, George, David, George. Um, but you think after living on the island for 37 days, you would know somewhat yeah. about the future and like where to go and where not to go, especially yeah. if you were getting married. <laughs> Also, you just think some of the locals would be like, hey, don't go there. Seeing them walk up there. But. Well. No, I think this is found out after because. Stop it, but snake. But I know they're not the only locals on the island, so are you telling me nobody else saw them? Fair, considering everyone was at their, like, engagement prior yeah. or everything. Um, but Paul proposes to Julia. And then fun. gets bit by a snake. Yeah, he does. Which was kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. When Julia starts sucking out the venom and, like, almost pukes, I'm like, yeah, I would be the same. I don't even blame you. Yeah. But then they take him to the hospital, and he's like, don't forget what I asked you. And she's like, oh, I won't. And George is like, oh, what did he ask you? And she's like, oh, he asked me to marry him. And there's, like, no, like, there is, like, I was expecting more of a reaction from him, kind of being like, oh, shit, like, I got to step up my game kind of thing. And there's not. There's not. Uh... Was there any reaction? I think there's a brief one. But he oh. was just like, oh, yeah, you should say yes. Um, but then, uh, I don't even know what happens, but they all go stay in the woods or something like that. Oh, because no. the, the boat goes away. They, they, wait, they go, they go to Paul, and they want to go see the sunset. And at first, Georgia wasn't going to go, but then she was going. Yeah. So, but 
David, Jay, and Lily all take a day's boat, and George is supposed to tie it up. But George we forgot a very important part too. What? Earlier on in the movie, George gets bit by a dolphin. That was gonna fly Yeah. Sorry, I just was reminded of that. How did you get bit by a dolphin? I yeah. Don't have like, scary ass teeth though. Let me tell you. Right? They're so cute. Like. Good damn. Teeth. Like, um, I did say watching this movie would have made a really good horror movie. Maybe because I watched it during spooky season, but like I was watching, I'm like, this movie needs some murder. Where the heck did you get that from? I don't know. I just felt that vibe. Okay. Like, what if Lily and Gaday were bringing George and Julia as sacrifices? I don't know. Just saying, there's a lot of options that could have been done. Anyway, they go look at the sunset. Yeah, it's George doesn't tie up the boat right. Why is it to stick? But also, George's defense. What was he supposed to tie up to? A tree? Like, it didn't seem like. I feel like trees would be really far away from the door. Yeah, that's true. So, I don't, I don't know. Actually, a lot of this movie makes sense. It really doesn't now that we're talking about it. I... But yeah, so the boat floats away, and they have to wait until tourist come during sunrise. Yeah, and then the lady from the plane comes, too. Yeah. Um... Also, yeah. why would you do this the day before your wedding? Right. Right. Like, the day before my wedding, I don't want to do anything. No. Um, Lily finds the rings, though. Yes. While Gade is trying to hunt with George, which is really funny. Yeah. George Clooney was just the best part of this movie. He was. He was very funny. Um, but, yeah, then Lily finds the rings, yells at Julia, then she goes and yells at George and ruins his trick shot that he was going to yeah. have. Um, and then Gade finally brings up the fact that he knew that something was going on with George and Julia. I don't know. Just personally, I would have been really pissed if my husband kept that from me. Yeah. I mean, she was. Yeah, but she forgave him pretty quick. She did. Um, then David and Julia, David and Georgia, George and Julia, have just, like, a moment where they kind of talk about how they'll lose her forever if they don't give her the blessing, because she's going to marry her today. Yeah. Um, but then they kiss. Did they talk about themselves as well? I don't even remember. They probably did. They probably did. They did a very good kiss. It got a little steamy for a moment. Yeah. It was a bit of, like, Alan and Ellie vibes, like, with, like, the way George was gripping her. But I wanted more. I wanted another one. Yeah. And I did not get it. Um, I don't know. This is the wedding day. Yeah. So they, this movie really has no timeline. It really doesn't. So what they wind up getting rusty, and that's when the lady from the plane comes. I love her. It's her wedding day, and. I feel like there's stuff that happens between in between that. Oh, George, tell Paul. George, Paul proposes again, and Julia headbutts him. No, Paul headbutts Julia. Right. My bad. Georgia, Georgia, whatever we want to call her at the moment. 
does nothing wrong ever. <laughs> no, she really doesn't. <laughs> um, Paul's fucking annoying. He deserves whatever he gets. Yeah. So anyway, Paul headbutts Julia, and she decides not to marry him, which I think is a, a wonderful decision. Me too. Um, there's also a scene of Gaday's parents and, and him and something I feel like of them saying the wedding isn't going to go or something like that. I do not remember that. You can no. Me right. I think it was something to do with her parents not being on board. Oh, like, right. Like, parents, like, being nervous about that. I think they had to be on board in order for them to get married. Yeah, I think it's Balinese tradition. But I think they wind up starting to get married anyhow. Oh, yeah. right place, right time, right moment, person. What did they say? Um, I don't know. Right place, right time. Must be right person. Balinese. Right place. Right time. Yeah, never mind. I don't know. Whatever. They say something. They say something very smart that is also said earlier in the movie, too, that I yeah. have forgotten. And G'day actually says it. Yeah. And he said that, like, the right circumstances? It's, so- it's something like that. I think it might that I think it might be right circumstance. And he's like, the ears are the right circumstances because your parents don't accept it or whatever. So he tries to stop the wedding and then David and George are like, yeah, no, then you George get married. It's just a nice little moment that I feel like maybe was a little too late. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I just wanted like more of a bonding scene between either Julia and Gide or George and Gide or both of them. Because that felt very, like, half-assed. It felt very forced. Like, oh, sorry, we just don't want to, like, ruin the wedding mm-hmm. during the wedding. Um, yeah, G'day pulls the wedding. Um, oh, yeah, he says, David says that if he and Georgia had listened to all of their own people, like, telling them not to, they never would have had Lily. So that's why they give their blessing. Um, or at least right time, right circumstances. Yeah. And however their marriage turned out, they're both happier in a world with Lily in it. Don't believe that. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, they get married. Although Lily does do a fake of eight. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my god, George and Julia are going to get married. They don't. So that was disappointing. Okay, the Wikipedia article is very important because this just said that they get married and then it says the morning of the wedding. Georgia just follows she cannot marry him. That already happened. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, no, this is all very out of order because it also says David and George toy with romance again, even kissing each other once. That was a while ago. David, George, and Ren exchange tearful goodbyes and then board a boat to leave. Oh, there's also a scene of Lily and George, and she's like, I belong here, and he's like, I know. So she's staying, which was actually really cool. Um... Like George Clooney, though. No. I will say, it's 
like it was really weird that he showed up wearing a suit and he got the suit in body. Why wouldn't you dress up like the rest of them? Right. Because, like, I don't, I honestly thought about this a lot with other people that I know that go to, like, other people's religious wedding ceremonies. Because they'll dress up in, like, what everyone else is wearing. Um, I don't want to use incorrect terms, so I'm not going to say that. <laughs> um, so, like, you think that since George is there, like, he would wear the clothes of the people, but I don't know if that goes against their religion, that if he's not that, their religion, he yeah, can't I don't, wear that. That's a good point. Because I thought that as well, but they also, the, you know, might do it wearing, out of respect. Lily's not wearing anything. Yeah, no, he's, he's just wearing like a plain white dress, so I, that might be. That's that's just a random question that I've always had. Yeah, but I just don't know how to ask people that. <laughs> because I also had the same question when watching, and just like that, when Carrie goes to do Diwali, is Diwali? with Seema. Yes, and she dresses up and like. Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking. Yeah. But, like, I don't know if they're doing it out of respect of their culture and their holiday. Yeah, I don't understand. But, like, I right. anybody watching this has an answer for it? Yes, please. I I would think it'd be a little bit disrespectful, but I could yeah. be very much wrong. <laughs> I almost wonder if it's something, like, if, like, someone from that culture, like, brings it up to you. Yeah. It's kind of, like, an okay because that's what happens in just like that like Sima gives her the outfit yeah takes her and all that but it's it's riding a thin line well, maybe it's not we just don't know <laughs> that's true yeah we can't speak on that we're as white as they are. yes <laughs> um but then they get on the boat david and georgia talk it says they Debate whether they're too old to feel young again, which I thought was kind of cute. Yeah. Um, and then it says they reconcile their feelings, and I'm like, I didn't really get that vibe, but whatever. No, I was like, they were they were just staring at each other. Then they so jump off the to... boat, and it's a f- freeze frame. And I don't know. I didn't love well, the ending. That's it, because they gave us classic rom-com post-credit blooper reel. Yeah. Dark Nothing dark. is ever going to top the end credit, the post-credit of the proposal when they're doing their um, yeah. interview. Now I, I've missed bloopers. <laughs> right. They're so. I feel like, especially for um, comedies, they're extra funny because I feel like yeah. they just say the most appropriate thing that comes to their mind. Yeah. I love. Um, but, like, I was like. So did we just leave their careers as well, like, without a notice? Did they give her two weeks? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Like, what are they supposed to do in Bali? I'm sure George still staying for, like, a week or so. That's true. I don't know if that's weird or not. (laughs) No. Because he, he, I don't know if he actually an architect. I think he was. Well, he, he built a house. Yeah. That's what he can do here. He can be he can be a contractor. And was I don't, Georgia Julia was actually, an art art historian? He was an art seller. Yeah. What the hell was Lily? I do I met your mother. Art consultant. Mm, I was thinking Charlotte. Okay, yes. I forgot Charlotte has a job. Thank you for yeah, reminding. Yeah, well, because I don't think she does anymore. No. Um, I mean, to be honest, if my husband was rich, I wouldn't work either. Yeah, same. Um, so I feel like she can be an art consultant, or was she an artist beforehand, or? Who knows? I don't know. 
Her but, like, I don't really know if there's any thing for her to do in Bali. I she woke up, like, wasn't there, like, no, I don't know. She was doing food. I was going to say, wasn't there, like, a scene of her, like, beating or something? But I think I'm thinking of another movie. Okay. But also, like, I'm just going to go back to the States by myself. I think Lily and Ben should have gone together. Yeah. Ramp stuff is giving the bad vibes. Right. right. I don't know. I, it felt like a classic rom-com. Yeah. It was kind of messy. That's just, I think, my biggest qualm. With yeah, it was definitely... It's more messy now that we're talking about it. Yeah, right? I think we're just blindsided by the fact that it was a classic rom-com. I know. Which I'm still very much happy it was. Oh, same. No, I actually really enjoyed it for that reason. But, like, looking at it, I'm like, do I love this because it's Julia Roberts and George Clooney? Or do I love it because it's good? Yeah. Not that a movie necessarily has to be good, but this reduces being in a full cinema with all the oldies watching a George Clooney and Julia Roberts rom-com that's not only filmed two hours away, ends with a freeze frame and a blooper reel in the credits, life is good. Apparently. Yeah, Brisbane. Brisbane? Brisbane. Never mind. Um, another day of Julia Roberts trying to ruin a wedding and I am so in. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, this one said my parents will likely love to be paradise. I did not. While the comedic banter and bickering between Julia Roberts and George Clooney mostly works, I did not buy nearly a single one of the film's romance, new or rekindled. Bali sure does look beautiful, though. Yeah. And that's how I found it. It wasn't actually Bali. It's got 3.0, though. Yeah. Which I'm glad about. Yeah. <sighs> Let's take it to Paris. I think it just could have done better. I'm. I just want to explain something. Some rom coms are predictable as they as predictable as they are can also be fun and rewatchable due to their charm and humor. This is occasionally one of them. Yeah. Okay, ever since we decided we're doing Paradise, I've had the ending of Dirtbag stuck in my head. But they're like, I've got two tickets to Iron Maiden, baby. I don't know why. I hear more black in the movie. It's not from the movie. Okay. It's just because it says, I got two tickets, and then ticket to Paradise. Oh, because then just my brain is mush. Have you ever seen Crazy Stupid Love? No, but it's on my list. This guy was talking about he's trying to find the rom-com of the 2020s, and he said that isn't it, but it's so good. But in the end, he said, anyway, a good rom-com, and then you really need the 2020s to up the rom-com game, because the 2010s already had crazy stupid love at this point. The 20s need to start cooking immediately. Okay, I guess we need to watch crazy stupid love. This is good. Neither romantic nor particularly funny, but seeing the endless charisma of two all-time great movie stars in such a light, breezy affair makes for an enjoyable experience nonetheless. That's best when George Clooney and Julie Roberts get to goof off. Yeah, I think that was just, like, my favorite part, which is kind of getting... Yeah. I think it's. I think it should have been a movie of George Clooney and Julia Roberts just yeah. doing, Just being George Clooney and Julia Roberts. They were on something to before this, correct? Ocean's Eleven. That's the only Is one. that it? Yeah. Why are they in them? Because 
because everyone makes it seem like they're in war. Yeah. What they didn't... I forgot what the video was. But someone said that... I feel like I'm thinking gravity. Maybe. So, they did an interview and they said that, like, back in the day, that people made them to be best friends and they never even met. They're, like, the first time Oh, no, they have done a few. What else? (laughs) Ocean's 11, Ocean's 12, Money Monster. Well, Ocean's count as one. (laughs) Uh, Confession of a Dangerous Mind. It says August Osage County, but was he in that? I'm not seeing in this. Okay, it says August Osage County, but he's not in that. Is he directed or produced it? Question, hold on. No. Oh, interesting. Um, and then it also says, well, Ocean's 13. That's about it. So I don't know why he's going to for August Osage. George County, August, Osage County. Did Mr. Sir do something that, that produced? Okay. Like, why is he coming up every time you look up? Maybe that makes sense. So they have done a few things together, I guess. Okay. I guess just not things that, like, they're, like, close. Yeah. But I also think, like, when I think Julia Roberts and, like, an iconic Silver Fox, I don't think George Clooney. I think Richard Gere. God, I want a Richard Gere and Roberts from come again. I don't know why I just thought fucking Richard from Friends. <laughs> now, it's just that. It's like, what? he's not even a Silver Fox. What are you talking about? That's true. I don't think he could ever... Like, he would be a fox if he was silver, but I can't picture him as a silver fox. No, definitely not. I need... Who do I need to come back in rom-coms? Is that Sandler making a rom-com? I don't know. I would love another Jen and Adam one. Another Drew and Adam one. Really want another Drew and Adam. Sandra Bullock is back to doing rom coms. I genuinely don't lo- know have, why Did you Brian... see The Lost City? Oh, I forgot about that. No, I didn't. You should watch that one. It was I really have. good. That's what this reminded me a lot of, but The Lost City had a mystery plot. <laughs> okay. Okay. And it, they had a really good kiss, I'm just saying. I think it's that. And she looked <laughs> hot. Very true. I feel like. Brian Reynolds should really just have to do it in comedies. Yeah. That's like my own personal. I like him, but he definitely is more comedy than leading romantically. Like, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Love me some Ryan Reynolds would love to have me some Ryan Reynolds. But I do feel like he's better suited for comedy. Like he just kind of made a name for himself in that. Because I feel like every makes he does it, it turns into a comedy. Because it's yeah. cool is like I've never seen it, but from all like the promo, I feel like he makes it better. Yeah, I think it's like a spoof kind of thing, just from what I've seen. But I never finished it. I don't really know what else. Brian Brian. The proposal. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. He's in um Just Friends, which is also a rom com. Like, like rewatching it now, it sucks. She did a rom-com home again, but I never seen it. It's like from 2017, I want to say. Oh, jeez. Oh, I've heard of that. Stanley Tucci. <gasps> Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep needs to be in everything. Meryl Streep has not had anything come out. No. Is she well? Has someone checked on I her? I was watching an episode of Modern Family, and one guy in it was like, oh, I didn't know how I feel about the, I think they were talking about 
They're like, I don't know how I feel about Meryl Streep in the role. And then Cam was like, Meryl Streep could play Batman and be the right choice for the role. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Meryl Streep is a god. She is. I'm going to see if she's coming out. Gone. No. What? The last thing she was in is Dolph Go. That was Is she year. okay? Do we need to she's, check on her? She's exactly producer on a sh- movie. This is not what I thought she would be producing. It's a... It's called Sell by Date. Sell slash by slash date. Is in a 2022 American documentary comedy drama film directed, written, and produced by Sarah Jones from a story by Jones and David Goldblum based upon her off Broadway play of the same name. Why well, don't even know the name? I'm thinking just Jeff Goldblum. Yes. The film yes. follows Sarah Jones as she travels across the United States navigating the sex industry's relationship with race, war, and the economic. Jones additionally portrays, portrays four different characters with Rosario, Rosario Dawson, Brian Cranston, Alana Glazer, and Seinfeld, and then a bunch of other people. Jeepers. It's a weird, not a weird movie, but like not what I expected her to be producing. So, can someone go check I have the cast of Crazy Stupid Love Up. And it's Steve Carell as the leading man. And I don't know how I feel about that. I did think I made that. And then Julianne Moore, who I love. Emma Stone, Ryan Gosling, Marissa Tomei, Joey King, Kevin Bacon. Yeah. It never seems like much of a comedy. I mean, it could be wrong. A what? I don't know why it didn't think it would be funny. <laughs> what? Crazy stupid love. Oh, no, it sounds like it'd be a big drama. This is 79% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's really impressive. That's, yeah. Oh, you know who needs to come back to the rom-com genre? Kate Hudson. Give me another Kate Hudson and McConaughey. That's everything. Ooh, or Meg Ryan. Can't see Meg Ryan in a rom com anymore. That's fair. I watched her in The Woman, which was not a rom com. But like, I feel like all these people have like just kind of moved on. Like, yeah. rom com was their stepping stone, and now they've just moved on to other stuff. Yeah, but for nostalgia purposes, when you yeah, that. I just like I want like an Ocean's Eight, but it's just iconic rom-com actors just yeah. acting out all the romance tropes. Yes, for two hours, maybe three hours. I won't be picky. Be great. That's just what I want. Yes, but I want like a resurgence of like nineties. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Not shutting in. Hmm? Not like, well, the few exceptions from the 2000s. Yeah. 2010s. There's some good ones, but. Yeah. But that's good to paradise. <laughs> it is. I don't know. Maybe we just need to rewatch it. Without our moms. No kidding. <laughs> Love you, mom. Should just, but... should, yeah, no, same, but, like, you guys should have just watched it together. Yeah. My mom would be like, watching it, she'd be like, so, and I'm like, movie! You yeah, wanted no. to watch it! My mom, she wants to watch it? That was, I should have known that was a bad decision. Because even my mom actually wants... talked about the movie, because mine wasn't. 
No, she was. My mom asked a lot of questions about what. I wouldn't on. even mind if it was about the actual movie. Oh my god, no. It's so bad. I like to talk during movies. Because at least I'm still watching the movie. No, my mom just like a little stupid. Like, she wants to start watching it at elementary, so I put it on for her. And like, she asked me, like, what did I say? What are they doing? I was like, are you paying attention? <laughs> She's cute. I miss her. You can have her. Okay, send her my way. Do. Oh, yeah. Do I want to do next week? Do we have? No, we really never do. Um. So yeah, thank you for joining us on this episode of the Fangirls. You can keep up with us on social media. Our Twitter and is... Twitter is at Fangirls, and our YouTube and Instagram are into the Fangirls. Make sure you follow us wherever you listen to your podcast, and we can't wait for you to join us on our next episode. Once again, I'm Lexi. I'm Sam, and this has been Enter the Fangirls.